So before studying in detail about the proteins, so what we have mentioned in the beginning, okay. So amino acids are the building blocks, okay. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So before going to study ab uh, about the proteins, we should learn about amino acids. So if you learn the amino acids, okay, then we can easily come out or make out the structure of a protein and properties of protein. So that means chemistry and properties of uh, amino acids and proteins are same. Okay, so to say to begin with amino acids, okay, amino acids are a group of organic compounds, okay, which contain functional groups, two functional groups are present here, okay, amino acid, so amino is uh, indicating the nitrogen, okay, and acid is carboxylic group, right, so nitrogen here, uh, you can say amino, okay, nitrogen in the form of amino group, okay, amino acids, so these are also organic compounds which contain two functional groups, one is amino group, other one is carboxyl group, so the amino group which is acting as a base, okay and carboxyl group which is acting as an acid so in any solution like uh, if any acidic solution or in alkaline solution based on the type of solution the amino acid acts okay so having amino group it will be acting as a base having a acidic group COOH it will be acting as an acid based on type of the solution whether it is a acidic solution or alkaline solution so there are 300 amino acids uh, present in the nature but out of all these 300 only 20 amino acids you will get in a uh, living system okay whether humans animals plants or microbial livings okay so all there you will get only 20 though there is 300 amino acids we do have only 20 amino acids in our biological system so coming to the uh, structure of amino acids, okay, each amino acid has four different groups attached to a alpha carbon, okay, that means each amino acid which will be having different groups, okay, as I am sh uh, showing here in the slide, you see here the carbon, okay, which is surrounded by four different groups, okay, and one is hydrogen, other one is amino group, other one is carboxylic group, right, and this H, Based on the type of functional group, okay, based on the type of functional group, you can say R, R indicates functional group, okay, R indicates functional group. So, is it like, uh, as I mentioned, four different groups, but here two hydrogens are there. So, this carbon is not an asymmetric carbon, okay, this carbon is, a, uh, is not an asymmetric carbon because two hydrogens are there, two similar groups are there. So, what is the definition of asymmetric carbon? The valencies of carbon has to be fulfilled by different groups, okay. So only one amino acid is there which is uh, uh, not having asymmetric carbon that means optically inactive. So because for optical isomerism also we do require asymmetric carbon, right. So optically inactive amino acid that is glycine, okay. In uh, MCQ or competitive exam point of view, sometimes they will ask, name the optical inactive amino acid that is glycine because it doesn't have all the four different groups okay two similar hydrogens it, it do carry so that's why glycine is optically inactive so that's what i was mentioning about and optical isomers of amino acids okay if a carbon atom is attached to four different groups okay it is asymmetric and therefore it exhibits the isomerism okay and amino acid except glycine that was i was mentioning okay uh, passes uh, possess four different groups held by alpha carbon okay but except glycine Okay, all the amino acids have carry four different groups except glycine. That's why glycine is optically inactive. Okay, and all the amino acids are optical isomers except glycine. Okay, all the amino acids are optical isomers except glycine. And the proteins are composed of L amino acids. Yes, tell me here. What do you mean by L amino, L alpha amino acids? So in carbohydrates, as we have discussed in our previous slides under, under the chapter uh, carbohydrate chemistry. So what type of carbohydrates are active in nature, okay, and what type of carbohydrates can be digested by our uh, digestive system, okay. So that means D form of carbohydrates like uh, alpha D glucose, okay, DL isomerism there we have uh, uh, explained, right, uh, DL isomerism, what do you mean by D, what do you mean by L, capital D and capital L, okay, or, uh, in uh, respect to the OH group next to the penultimate carbon, okay, if OH group is present on the right side, it is D form, if the OH is present on the left side, that is L form, right, so here, okay, in amino acid is totally opposite, compared to uh, carbohydrates, in amino acids, totally, okay, opposite, 
only l form remember this point okay only d form of carbohydrates are active in nature okay which are useful to us okay but in case of amino acids totally reverse only l form of amino acids are present in the proteins or in biological system you see here the reference molecule what i have showed here glyceraldehyde okay you see here d glyceraldehyde uh, l glyceraldehyde and d glyceraldehyde okay so they are mirror images of each other okay so l glyceraldehyde which is uh, present on the left side okay similarly amino acid see here amino acid means there is a presence of amino group okay and carboxylic group and a functional group okay any it might be uh, if it is a methyl group alanine you can uh, you can say that amino acid as a alanine okay if it is in place of uh, methyl group if hydrogen is there that is glycine right so that's why i have mentioned r okay functional group r indicates a functional group okay so here amino group the name itself indicating amino acid right so amino group if amino group is on the left side so here in the picture amino group is on the left side so that's why l alanine okay if this d alanine um, that means in case of d form if amino group is on the right side okay so this is known as d alanine so biologically active amino acids are all are in l form okay l form of amino acids only you get in proteins